Hey guys, my name is Lisa Brown. I'm a personal trainer uh, here in Sydney, Australia, and I'm the owner of Innovate Health and Fitness, which is a small personal training company. Um, this will be my first vlog. Uh, I wanted to write this story down, but I haven't been able to, to do it. And I thought that it would be easier for me to tell you the story using my words verbally rather than writing it down. I'm gonna tell you a story about something that happened a year ago um, to me. Okay, so I've been a fitness junkie ever since I can remember, and I've done um, you know, all different types of strength training. Uh, strength training, training for aesthetics, like, you know, I've run a marathon, done yoga, I've done everything. Um, you know, I like to try all different type of things and obviously bring that experience to my clients. Um, I'm very passionate about getting people strong um, and getting them to understand how to squat, bend, push, pull, twist. Um, and we know how important strength training is for longevity, injury prevention, aesthetics, general well-being. Okay, that's been well documented. Sometimes in life, things come along um, that we have to deal with um, that requires us to be really, really strong physically and also really, really strong mentally. And that happened to me a year ago. Um, my father, who I was extremely close with, was diagnosed with asbestos on his lungs. He got it in the Royal Navy when he was, you know, when he served for the British Royal Navy. Uh, when he was a young man and it's been laying dormant and then last year it just it just it came like a wave and it took him really quickly i went back to the uk to take care of him and at that point i thought he'd have a lot longer to live and he ended up only having sort of six days when i got there um when i walked into mum into dad's mum and dad's house my father had taken to his bed and he was a very poorly man and the shock of that will always stay with me. Uh, me and my dad were very, very close. He's a good guy and he was a great dad. Um, my father was in bed and he wanted to be at home and we knew he was gonna spend his last days at home and he wanted me to look after him. And it was an honor and a privilege to do so. When I got home that first night, my dad, as I said, was really sick. And um, I didn't think he was gonna see the sunrise that first day and when I uh, got there that evening I slept on the floor next to him and in the middle of the night he said to me I need to go to the bathroom Lisa and I can't get up I make no apologies for getting emotional while I tell you this story and um, he couldn't get up he was too weak he, he didn't have any he's completely atrophied he had no muscle left and he was in a bad way I am so grateful to the training that I have done. Um, all of those squats, all of those deadlifts, all of those bench presses, all of those chin-ups, etc, etc, completely, totally and utterly prepared me for this one moment in time for my life so that I could be there for my dad. I walked over to him and I said, it's, it's okay, Dad, I I'm going to pick you up. It was the middle of the night, you know, just him and I in, in the house. And he said, Lisa, you're not going to be strong enough. And I said to him, Dad, I've been training my whole life for this moment. I promise you I'm strong enough. And I said, Dad, put your arms around me. And he put his arms around me. And I put my hand underneath him. And I took the biggest breath I could and braced. And I picked my dad up. And I carried him to the bathroom. And I helped him out and I gave him his dignity. And then when the time was right, I picked him up again and I was able to carry him and put him back in the bed. And I put him back in bed and he said to me, I can't believe that you were strong enough to do that. And I said, you gave me that dad. When I got into bed with him and I held him for the rest of the night. I have never been so grateful for all of those squats and deadlifts that I've done because it prepared me for that one moment in time so that I was strong enough to pick my dad up and carry him and give him his dignity. Now, I hope and I pray that you guys don't have to do something like that. Um, even though it is an honour and a privilege to be able to do it, it's not something that I would wish on anybody to, to be able to see a loved one 
you know, be, be in that situation. But we can talk about all the personal training um, benefits and training benefits in the world. But there are moments like that, excuse me, in life where we have to be strong. And strength training isn't just about shiny personal bests and, you know, abs on an Instagram page. It's about being strong for life. Sorry, <laughs> I said I wasn't going to apologise, right? Whenever I think now about that moment, which I've struggled to think about, I'm so grateful to my strong body and so, and so grateful to it. Do not underestimate how important strength training is. You know, I, I miss my dad every single day, um, but you know, I was able to look after him at the end in a strong and healthy body, which you know has given him the biggest gift I could give him at that time. Strength training is really important. We only get one body, right? We only get one body. We don't know what's going to happen if we get another chance in another life. We don't know about that. We get one body. If you're not doing anything to look after yours, have a little think about it. And I hope that me sharing this story might have uh, <coughs> sort of motivated some of you to come and train with people. If you don't know what you're doing, get a decent personal trainer. I'm not saying come train with us. I'm not using this to try and sell my wares. I'm just using it to try and promote strength. Have a good day, guys. Thanks for listening.